going on everybody it's portal back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today we have two things to go over in today's video guys we have some more base leads to be revealed some more mud info as well as how to get a free 85 overall aaron Rodgers right when you pretty much start madden 22 ultimate team out quick disclaimer guys last year i'm pretty sure the free superstar ko player was the first week of madden it could be different but i imagine it's going to be one of the first few days of EA access now it depends it could be the first day of launch so if it is the first day of launch it'll be madden 20th or if it is going to be the e access early access it'll be the 12th so it's getting that out there if anyone wants to know right but either way within the first i'd say within the first week it will be available to you could be the first day could be likely the first day now before we get into today's video if you aren't to the channel hit that subscribe button let's get to 23k as soon as possible guys madden 22 is coming soon let's get the momentum going smash the like button of course every each and every like does help the channel grow so if you guys watch all you gotta do is drop a like to support that is it and of course you guys want to shout out into uh, in the poodle squad all you got to do is comment down below in the video and of course like the video if you do both those things you are entered to be shouted out today's shout out is john savage shout out to john savage for being a part of the poodle squad thanks so much for showing support in each and every video now let's get into the video are you in the market for a starting qb to begin mutt 22 if so you should definitely take a look at this free version of last year's nfl NF mvp aaron Rodgers. especially if you're not getting the mvp or dynasty additions for mahomes or brady which is very true as well also, you can usually have this as a backup, chemistry, training, you know, that kind of stuff. This year's chemistry is different, so it may not benefit you as much, but you never know. Still good to have. Once you get your hands on the game, you can go ahead and play Superstar KO mode. Pretty much a game mode where you're able to draft your team, but you don't draft the whole team. You draft a few key players to start, and you have to go through a series of games. Like you could, it'll be like, you could do 1v1, by the way, you versus another user, where you control everyone. 2v2, where you and a friend and someone else and their friend or whatever randoms could grab a few of their players and play. So you start off by drafting like three of your heads. You get like a defensive guy and then two offensive or one to offensive, two defensive. And you go ahead and as you keep winning games, you get to steal players from the other team and keep progressively drafting your team. So you make it all the way and you end up winning. Now for this Aaron Rodgers, you don't have to win the whole thing, guys. You literally just have to get stats, which makes it super easy. To read the quick thing, pick a team of superstars, score a touchdown from your own 25, no kicking, tug of war breaks ties, win to any other superstars, win four in a row, become undefeated champions. Now to get Aaron Rodgers, all you have to do is score five passing touchdowns. Now, of course, it's not, this does not have to be in one game. It's just a weekly challenge. So I'm pretty sure all you have to do is just score five passing touchdowns throughout. You could, you could play 35 games if you suck, or you could, that's why this was just cool about this. You could be horrible at the game and eventually you're going to score five passing touchdowns, right? Keep throwing streaks, get a superstar KO player, wide receiver every, I would recommend getting a wide receiver every time. That's my best advice. If you see a wide receiver, always take them regardless because if you're just trying or a quarterback if you're trying to get passing touchdowns it'll be super easy with a player with certain abilities because they're like juiced in this in mode if you pick a certain position but yeah earn five passing touchdowns get five passing touchdowns to earn a ko superstar ko nat 85 overall aaron Rodgers. this should only require a few games especially if you play the and the new nfl rules version you'll get this done pretty fast by my rough math this offer will expire sometime around august 23rd so yeah this does only last a week guys so remember if it does come out that they have ea access it'll only last to around the 20th um you know it's a weekly challenge but they, they could extend it because it's the first week's ea access and they want to get everyone else it so it could go a week beyond initial launch it really just depends but it's going to be a pretty cool offer nonetheless um aaron Rodgers has an 86 is his base lead so remember his 85 overall nat will be very similar he'll probably lose like minus one in a few of these stats but if you guys like aaron Rodgers or you plan to get the base lead don't spend your money on him go ahead and get this card and rock with this card until you need to and then if you need to power aaron Rodgers in the future then you go pick this card up for a lot cheaper though probably that's better for this part guys we still have to go over all the other stuff such as the players and stuff so let's get into all of that we got calvin ridley i'm gonna go quickly over these guys because you guys did see most of these probably yesterday i'm just reiterating them if you guys didn't see them yet calvin ridley here 86 speed pretty much the key component of this car the rest of the car is pretty trash justin jefferson super well-rounded 84 speed looks more like a budget Devonte adams slash d hop nothing too crazy there as well DK Metcalf, again, 87 speed, 80 deep route running, 87 catching. Will be a budget-esque beast, a beast if, his, if his price isn't too crazy. So not a bad card there either. Amari Cooper, his typical base league card every year. Low route running, low catching, 84 speed. It's literally every year, right? Like, like low 80s. This is the same card he's had for the last like three or four years already at this point. Next, we have Stephon Diggs, 85 speed, 86 deep route running, which could potentially get to a 90. A very super well-rounded card. Again, kind of like a budgety version of Devontae Adams. But slightly faster, so not horrible there either. Next, we have Henry Ruggs, who is a budget beast uh, gold. 88 speed. Of course, I will make a fully extensive budget beast list once the entire database is revealed. But for the time being, Henry Ruggs is definitely the better budget beast in Madden 22 for the 88 speed. I mean, 
it's gonna be great and the price probably won't be too crazy for the raiders real quick 84 speed 86 catching uh mid 80 route running which is really good actually the only problem with him is that kyle pitts doesn't get an 88 speed so it really just doesn't compare that much but darren wall if you didn't get pitts could be a very good option as well Jason Kelsey, 80 strength, 88 awareness, high 80 run blocking with low 80 pass blocking. Gonna be one of the best linemen as day one to start. Cause I feel like early in the year, pass blocking isn't as important, uh, especially at the center position. Like that, getting a good run blocking scheme going is make or break in the beginning of the year, especially if you can if you know how to run. Because you get high 80, low 90 run blocking to start the year, and you're just Moses. Like you're split, you're splitting the Red Sea, right? High pass blocking, it's like again, pass blocking has always been like doesn't make that big of a difference there's gonna be no crazy abilities just yet so i'd worry more about the run blocking next you got Cortland sutton one of the team affinities 85 speed can't route run at all good catch probably good in the broncos theme team cd lamb 87 speed now this card's actually pretty good um again the speed alone is gonna be good the route running is not great or the catching but again gonna be a speedy guy sterling shepherd very similar to lamb decent catching bad route running high speed David Njoku, 84 speed, low run blocking, can't really catch too well, decent, gonna be a budgety-esque tight end, not horrible, Debo Sam is actually really good, 88 speed, 87 jumping with all above 80 catching, again, can't route run, it seems like none of these cards can, Deshaun Jackson, now this card's actually pretty crazy, 89 speed, so that means he's gonna be as fast as Tyree Kill for probably a fraction of what it'll take to actually get him, uh, the route running was a deep 82, is good enough. A 82 deep route running with 80 catching and 89 speeds gonna be pretty crazy if you can't afford to go get a Tyree kill. Again, you have to see how you get all these guys, but gonna be pretty cool. You know, you can go do the collection, you can go ahead and see if they uh, you know they resell, but that's pretty good. Next, guys, some things to go over Wes Welker. So there was some extra stuff added to Wes Welker. He will be getting slot apprentice day one of Madden 22. So if I don't know if that changes your mind on this, he's an 86 speed, of course. Again, he's one speed slower than uh, Randy Moss, but he does get Slot Apprentice, which is a pretty popular ability, especially to start the year. So if you're a big Slot Apprentice kind of guy, this will be your guy if you really want to go that route. And then, of course, guys, they also added Team Cam. So Randy Moss and Wes Welker and all the players will get all the Team Cams they were ever on. So Randy Moss will get, like, Niners. He'll get Raiders. He'll go ahead and get... Um, he'll go ahead and get his Vikings, of course. You know, Dion will get Ravens, Falcons, Cowboys, uh washington football team and so on and so forth west welker has like chargers broncos rams patriots and one other i don't know them that well but yeah, they get team camps so that's pretty big as well next guys Allen robinson was revealed as well 83 speed um gonna be super slow bad catching typical Allen robinson card will not be a day one stud for anyone unless you're a bear steam team or a jaguar steam team which actually could be pretty cool this year jj watt was revealed one of the top ends in the game low speed but he does get the 83 block shed 84 power move 80 finesse move jj watt basically cards are always gonna be horrible and here's the reason why he's one of the most well-rounded ends in the game uh he's like aaron donald but worse right aaron donald's cool because he's like ramsey they get that top tier threshold already his next his, the next watt card will have the block shed and power move but he will never have the speed jj watt's really never that good in terms of madden although he's pretty good in the run game again not this card the next card tj watt his brother though is actually really really good powered up he will get above with a strategy card, above a 90 finesse move off the bat, above a 80 play rec, above 80 speed. Off the rip, going to be one of the best pass rushers in the game to start the year with decent run blocking as well, or run stuffing, I should say. Miles Garrett. Now, Miles Garrett, 87 overall again. Going to be a crazy end every year. 87 power move to start with 83 block shed, 87 strength, 78 speed. Powered up with a strat card as well. We'll get above 90 power move. We'll get a pretty high block shed, especially if you can get strategy cards for both. And of course, the speed already is already pretty good to start the year. I mean, a 79 speed is not going to be bad to start the year. Later in the year, it'll be a problem, but not currently. Aaron Donald, though, of course, like I said, his is why he takes the cake. Powered up, he gets an 89 block shed and 89 power move. And a 76 speed, which, again, that's Aaron Donald-esque. If you get, get a strategy card for run stuffing and for pass rushing, you will get above 90. You'll be a, he'll be a threshold run stopper and uh, power power rusher right off, the, uh, right off the rip. Potentially finesse rusher as well and play wreck and he has crazy will have a 90 strength and decent enough speed crazy card here's some of the budget piece we have leonard floyd who's okay i guess 80 speed 83 excel not really crazy hassan reddick only 81 speed as well not crazy uh levi 80 strength 79 excel i really don't know where they were going with these but that's another one right there uh owe oh, oh, oh i don't know how you say it. 85 speed 85 excel now he's not bad uh just to, like pop out into his own or maybe user 
Anthony Barr, who's been shown already, 83 speed, 84 excel, 83 tackle, not good block shed, probably a decent, decent zone. Pretty much wraps up for the video, guys. That covers everything for today. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you have any questions, comment them down below. If you want a chance to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad, comment down below something and like the video. If you do, I will shout you guys out. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.